Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And my cat just came in and is yelling at me. Uh, stand by, cat. I'll be done in a few seconds. And that's, I think, is all it's going to take. I put this Kato, I showed it to you a couple of shows ago. This is a emergency radio. Oh, gosh, golly. Um, emergency radio which is AM and weather band. It's a crank radio or solar charging. That's the only way you can charge this thing. There is no adapter. Uh, there's no battery compartment that you can change batteries in. So that's the only two ways you can charge it. And what we did is we put this in the windowsill, which it's ambient sunlight, but not direct sunlight. So it, could, it sees the sun as far as the ambient light, and there's an overfang, overfang, <laughs> there's an overhang at that window, so the sunlight can't come directly on it. And of course, it's inside, so it's pretty indirect lighting. Uh, it's been charging for about six hours, and we're going to see uh, how long it plays. And I'm going to do this live because I'm predicting it's not going to be very long. These little tiny solar panels, they don't do much in the way of charging. Even the ones that are twice as long on the uh, Eaton emergency radios, they don't even do a very good job at charging. I think what it wants is to be outside in direct sunlight, but I don't think it, that's good for the radio to be in direct sunlight for hours. So that's probably not a good idea. Of course, if you're using it on an emergency, uh, the crank charging works pretty good. I did that test a few shows ago, and that worked pretty good. Uh, so I would say, you know, use the crank. If for some reason you've broken the crank, then you have to go with solar because there's no changeable, easily changeable batteries. So six hours in very indirect sunlight, and we're going to see how long it plays, and it probably won't be very long, if at all. And the whole time, the little red LED indicating that it was getting a charge was on. So here we go. I turn it on, and I'm going to turn to. Let me turn it back down. I'm going to turn it to the AM band, uh, and I'm going to start my timer. And we're going to tune a station. Here we go. And you know, you're you're a gator. He's a doll. You guys are that tight. He seems pretty well. And he was funny. And at the end, he was doing Facebook Live. I'm going to see if it'll another, go five minutes. Uh, I'm predicting it won't. Said, so bear with me while we do a live test on this thing and see if how long it lasts. I'm going to, if it lasts more than five minutes, I'm going to cut the uh, video off and then I'll put it in the description how long it lasted. So you don't sit there and watch the thing uh, play. So we're on an. Uh, AM or a medium wave station. This is a very strong station. Coming in clear. I got the volume at about notch three out of maybe fifteen. But like I say, when I did the test where I used the crank, I cranked it only for sixty seconds. And I think it lasted about 20 minutes. So that worked pretty good. Now the little LED indicating that the radio is on is lit, and it's pretty bright. So maybe it's going to make a liar out of me, or worse yet, a fool out of me. Sorry for the babbling, but I'm just trying to fill in why this thing is running. Again, I'm only going to let it run. Uh, recording running 
for five minutes, and I'll cut it off. If it makes it that far, I'll cut it off, and I'll be excited that it made it five minutes. I guess my little kitten uh, gave up on me and went back downstairs. <laughs> Now what you can do is you can uh, fast forward this video to the end, which is either will be five minutes or I, uh, or, or the radio went dead. We're well, only about two and a half minutes now. I may let it run a little longer because you do have that option that you don't have to sit here and listen to me uh, babble. You can just, uh, now that you know that it's starting, you can see the time here. Uh, you can just fast forward this video to the end, which hopefully will, not hopefully, I, I, I don't want to be negative. I mean, I want the, the radio to play as long as possible. This is a very small solar panel, so it's not going to get that much charge. The next radio I'm going to review is this little gym right here, and it's looking pretty promising. So, and even uh, when I introduced it a couple of shows ago, someone posted a comment to a, with a link to a Chinese, another Chinese website that was selling this thing for three dollars. Now, I, when I went to it, I couldn't find out how much the shipping would be. It might be free, and I'm thinking not. And you actually had to place the order to get to the shipping. Or at least sign in and act like you were going to buy it before you saw saw the shipping costs. We're up to four and a half minutes almost, and it's still playing pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop babbling and just let it run. And like I say, you can um, fast forward to near the end of this show and see how long it lasts. Again, I charged it in indirect sunlight for a total of six hours. Four hours one day and two the next day. So I'm going to stop babbling. And you can listen to the radio. Okay, I will uh, tune. Uh, oops, let me do that. I will tune the radio so I don't play the same station too long. The reception on AM and FM is fabulous. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the AM and FM's uh, reception now. Did I say I wasn't going to babble? I'm sorry. I, just, I can't sit still. Um, we have a lot of powerful AM and FM stations in our location. Now, in the previous video, when I tried to tune the NOAA weather station in this room, I, I couldn't get a station to come in. I took it in the other room, which doesn't have any electronics on, and... Uh, it received no weather, fine, clear, no problem. Up to six minutes, oh, 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 six minutes, the light went out. Well, it's very dim. The, the audio has gone down, but it's still clear.
I think the station is breaking up. Almost seven minutes. It's going. The LED is completely out now. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit because it's really low. Volume is going down more. I got the volume, the volume. I got the volume at half volume. It's getting difficult for me to hear it, but it's still pretty clear. I hope this recording is working because. It's a one-shot deal. I'd have to go back and charge it all over again. Really dim. Haven't lost it. Ah, I think it. I think it's gone. Yep, that's full volume. There's a tiny bit of audio. That's it's gone. So it made it. Eight and a half minutes uh, total at about seven minutes. The audio started going down, going down, going down. So that's not too bad. Um, it certainly can't entertain you very long, but it could uh, give you some weather information or health information in case of emergency for a short period of time charging on solar only and as I said before the crank charging worked much better one minute 60 seconds of charging gave me about 20 minutes of playing um, but if for instance you broke the crank the only way to charge this is solar. so that's it so that'll be the final testing on this little Kato um, if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up have a great day. Bye-bye.